Well, hi there, pluggers. Argus Soulfinger again with you. Uh, thanks very much for joining me for another guitar lesson. Uh, this is part one of uh, my take on Streets of London by Ralph McTell. Okay, uh, I've done, I have gone away and written a complete tab sheet for the way I play it. Okay, and uh, as you can see, it's on two sheets, or, you know, uh, and it's as far as I know, it's exactly what I play, and it's fairly close, I think, to what Ralph Mattel plays. Okay, um, so I have put a, I will be putting a link in the description box uh, for you to go and download the tab sheet, and you can either print it out or watch it on the screen or whatever you want to do. And uh, we will be referring to it all the way through the lessons, and it's going to be, I would imagine, two or three lessons. Okay, um, this one's just going to be a, a short lesson to get us in the mood. <laughs> um, I'm in standard tuning, uh, but I do have a capo on the second fret as per mentioned on the tab sheet, which brings it as into the same key that Ralph McTell usually plays this in. Okay, so if you want to play along with Ralph McTell, you can. Okay, okay, so I'm going to do. Um, You'll see on the tab sheet it starts off with a section called, there's three sections on the tab sheet, or four actually. Uh, there's one called intro, there's a section called verse, a section called chorus, and right at the end of the tab there's one called fill in, which is the little bit that uh, he sometimes plays in between uh, the, the uh, verses and the choruses. Uh, so after he's done the first verse and first chorus there's a little fill in and then he goes into the second verse okay so that's the fill in okay so without more ado uh <laughs> right so let's do that bit <laughs> let's just do the first line uh, of the tab just to get us in the mood okay so if you look at my tab uh, the chords for each uh, chord change are underneath the bars, as you'll see. So this is uh, line one of the intro. Okay, so starts off with a C chord, standard C chord, and you pluck the third fret of the fifth string and the top first string together. Okay, nice easy start. Followed by the second uh, fret of the D string or the fourth string, okay, the fourth string, okay, followed by the third string open, so you've got, okay, and I'm just basically using two fingers, my thumb and my first finger, okay, that's all I tend to use, okay, I know you can obviously use more fingers, but that's how I play it, okay, so two together, third on the fifth and open, top third string, second on the fourth, open third, then you play the third on the fifth again, so so far we're, okay, followed by sec, uh, first on the second string, followed by the second on the fourth, so that goes something like this, okay, first bar of the intro. On to the second bar which changes to a G chord uh, so if you hold a G chord I usually play my G's like this or you, almost, you can play it like that but I, well, when I'm finger picking I usually play it like that okay so um, you basically the second bar you pluck the third on the sixth and string and the third on the first string together followed by an open fourth string, so then take pinky off, or whatever finger you've got on the first string off, and play the top first string open, so, so, okay, followed by the third on the sixth again, then put, so, so far on this bar we've got the pinky now goes on the third fret of the second string and you pluck that 
So, so far on this bar we've got followed and lastly on this bar you play the fourth string open. So the whole bar is slowly. Okay, so the two bars together are Okay, we move to bar three on the first line, A minor. So make up an A minor shape and you pluck the open fifth string and the first fret of the second string together, followed by second fret. So holding the A minor shape, the fourth string, which is fretted at the second fret, and then the third string, the third string, which is also fretted at the second fret. So so far on the A minor bar, we've got. Okay, then it goes another open fifth. So. And then we've got the first fret of the second string again on its own. So, so far, followed by the second on the fourth string. So that's it. So the whole bar is okay again slowly. So the three bars together that we've done so far are. last bar on the top line of the intro, the first line of the intro, is an E minor. Uh, so standard E minor shape, so put your fingers on the second fret of the uh, fifth and fourth strings there, and you pluck the uh, E6 string and the top first string together, and then whilst holding the E minor chord, you, uh, f you pluck the uh, second uh, fret of the fourth string, which is held down by one of your fingers. Okay, so two outside strings together, pluck, second on the fourth, then you play the open third, so, sorry. Okay. okay, then you pluck uh, the open uh, fifth, Sixth string again, so so far we've got okay, do it again, okay, and then open second string. So this, now it sounds like put this bar sounds like this, and finally, on this particular E minor bar, you play the second fret of the fourth again. So the whole bar, this E minor bar, should sound like. Sorry, do it again. I got I was, <laughs> I got distracted there. Okay, we we'll do that again. Okay, so this whole line should sound like this. Good measure, really slowly. Okay, we're up to normal speed, something roughly normal speed. <laughs> So that's where we'll leave it, okay? So just to get you in the mood for uh, Streets of London. Thanks for watching this in, and I'll see you in part two, hopefully tomorrow, okay? Bye for now, bye bye.